You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I just don't. Fair enough. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it.
Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. <laughs> Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? <laughs> yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. That is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Thank you. 
I think I just saw you at the top of Beartooth Point. Was everything okay up there? Nope. Those drunk dumbasses cut the comms wire and left a pair of their whites as a calling card. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna go find them. I just... Uh, well, good. And also, why don't you call me the next time you find something like that? I was just trying to be a self-starter. Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, like clues as to where they could be? Ah, <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. I tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day.
There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, near Lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do.
Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds I mean I care about people and I like companionship as much as the next person no I didn't break any hearts when I left so you guys broke up something like that and you're just bursting at the seams to talk about it you really are very perceptive I know it's one of my many gifts along with accents and impeccable night vision incredible well I thank you very much governor time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine, Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse, and Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. Okay, that jockey story is actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. But can you believe that? That's crazy, right? Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away, but 
there's more to life than sex and romance. That's great. You should buy a lottery ticket when you get home. Wyoming doesn't have the lottery. Well, come to Colorado. I'll take you to the res. It's not luck. I just choose not to let a man dictate how my life goes. Well, that's not normal. Whatever you say, Hank. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls? I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. about her if you want you know honestly I would just really rather not okay you're gonna spend all summer out here in that mood we'll see <laughs> I bet you don't yeah well okay
not one of those guys who's building a great plan to get her back while you're out here, are you? Because you don't want to be that guy. I know everyone sees that guy in the movies and thinks, I can do that, I can get her back. But you should know, we hate that guy. If she broke up with you, she's already with someone else. And if you broke up with her, she won't have you back if she's worth a damn. Yeah, but what do I know? Maybe you got to her in September and you've got twins by June. But it won't be because of your skills as a conversationalist. I'm not one of those guys. That's not what I'm doing. Phew. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Look, I might just be full of shit, you know? I had considered that. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. This is the sort of biome-based small talk that will be invaluable to you as a single man. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Another. Roger that. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Oh, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets! 
So they did break into your tower. Looks like... These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. They're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. God, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not... Get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're... they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just... it's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too.